You just saw a bunch of animals running around in our studio. Now we got two animals on the couch. My name's Rich, and I'm joined by Mitch the Law. Yo. Very excited for this one. You might be asking where Asman is. He's officially in the battle station. We are going to be taking a look at the POVs of the Raiders, but as everything has come to a halt, we've decided to check out a very new challenge. The biggest pep battle tournament to ever be done. The show match between Asmund Gold and Hazel. I'm pretty sure Hazel is on the line already. We should be able to hear Hazel. Hazel, can you hear us? I can't hear Hazel. We don't have Hazel yet, which means we just have Asmund. Asmund. Hello, can you hear me? Yes. What strategy are you going to be going with in this pet battle? Uh, I had a team back in 2013, and honestly, that's my uh, that, that's the, the best I can do. And I'm going to try to use them, and I'll see where that takes me. And based off of that, I'll uh, swap things up. Uh, many people may not know this, but I actually have the trainer title, which is for uh, 1,000 PvP pet battles successfully won at max level. So uh, I, I, I don't know how I'm going to do against uh, pet battle master here, but... I'll do what I can. Could you turn the camera around to look at your mod really quick? Yep, there it is. Mitch, what do you think of that? That's the 1800 set. What, is it McConnell's mod as well? Yep, he took yeah, my idea. Okay. Yeah, I've seen that. That does look nice. I like it. Yeah, I've got the 21. So you're saying that was your, not his, that was yours. Well, it was it was my idea, but he had it first. Uh, uh, but he knew I would have it, and so he got it before me. But it was going to be my idea, yeah. So it was your question. idea to do a full set. Yeah, uh, because it's a new set. So, like, you want to wear a full set if it's a new set. But, like, besides that, you don't want to do that. So, it, okay, so you hit up the art team and you said, hey, this should be the full set. Uh, yeah, uh, exactly. And um, I had it in my head what I was going to do. And I talked to McConnell actually about what I was going to do with the set because I said, I want to use this set. And he's like, me too. But, like, him saying me too means that he obviously took my idea. Oh, so it's my idea That's very first. True. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Def definitely, uh, definitely factual and true. I, I remember in Path of Exile, uh -huh. McConnell's transmog actually looked exactly like this about two years ago. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So. What? Yeah. No. So I, I'm, I'm sure that You're he's not trolling. He, yeah. No, I'm not trolling. So I'm pretty sure that uh, Asmin actually, you know, he copied you two years ago. He really beat you to stealing this idea. Well, it's not a surprise. I mean, it's just what people like to do. Uh, it, it's not a big deal to me. I'm used to people taking my ideas. And <laughs> the truth is I've got so many really great sets and so many good ideas. And even pet battle teams. I see people take my ideas for pet battle teams. Uh, it, uh, it is what it is. Are you used to losing? Yeah, I spent – actually, I mean, Castle Nathur just came out. Unfortunately, yes, I am. Well, let's talk to our future winner of this entire tournament, Hazel. Hazel, can you hear us? Hello, I can hear you. Can you hear me now? Yes, we can hear you loud and clear. Do you think that you are going to absolutely tear Asmongold apart like soft bread in this first ever pet battle tournament? Well, I hope so, but you really never know. What factors? You know, I, do, I do not have the trainer title. I have one far from a thousand, so he has a lot of experience on me. Yeah, I have that experience from five years ago, though. Uh, it's about, like, three balancing patches before. So I don't know how this is going to go. We'll see sure. where we can go. Are each of the pets the same level? All the pets are all level 25, Mitch. Okay. And it's going to be a team of three versus a team of three. Do we have the rules clearly established? The rules, uh, best of five. How do we feel about using different teams every match? Hazel, what do you think? Uh, I can do that. I've only set up four teams. Okay, that's. I thought fine. it was just a one-off, so I. Okay, well, <laughs> I hopefully, uh, yeah, that that should that should be five. Hazel, it's just like an all craft episode. We're relying on you for content the entire day. Yeah, um, I have like one and a half teams set up, so it, it's gonna be a minute whenever I get everything ready. So yeah, why don't you just use this one of the teams twice? I mean, uh, it, it's it's fine. Okay. All right. As long as everything has a good nickname, then we're fine. Yeah. Wait, where's Hazel at currently? In, in I'm game? doing laps around Oribos. Uh, Same. Wait, I want to see, I want to see hey, yeah, that's what Mitch does on stream all day long. Listen, dude, it's a new Dalaran, you know? It invented the meta. It actually invented <laughs> hey, the meta. I was running around cities before, before, before everyone, dude. It's true. It's true. <laughs> I've been running around cities for a decade now. Really? The meta-defining vision, man. Yeah. There it is. Yeah. That's what's up. 
There it is. That's Vince Jones. <laughs> I hate you guys, man. What are we going to fucking call Celeste yeah. next? Like, Jesus, dude. Yeah. Oh, my God. Call Celeste. That's She's a really crying. good idea. That's uh, a good yeah, idea. Yeah, let's just yo, chill, 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 Hey, chill, with, chill. with how long it's hey, taking relax, to get relax, Sludge guys. Fest down, Listen, we're going to have to relax, pull out all of, the, all of the stops here. Oh, man, yeah, man, I want to see Hazel's Mog. I want to see Hazel's Transmog before we actually start. Uh, let's see. Hazel, what server and uh, what name are you? Uh, I am Hazeline. Uh because maybe I'm born with it. Hazel, and I'm on uh, <laughs> yeah, okay. I'll, uh, put it in the, I'll put it in the Discord. Okay. To Jacob here. Okay. What happened to Boy? To What's on the like, line for this pet battle, battle, Rich? Battle. What? What's on the line I'm here? also a lion. Bragging rights? Yeah. Yeah? Is this like a big title to hold? Do we? 100 gifted subs. 100 gifted subs. 100 gifted? Oh, Wait, man. who's paying for the 100 gifted subs? OTK. OTK is giving 100 gifted subs to the winner? Yeah? Sure. Okay. Well, so, Asmin, we actually need you to win now. Because <laughs> oh, no. OTK wow. is relying on you, oh, Asmin. Oh, no. We don't have the money for this. If you lose, you're going to bankrupt God. the entire company. Okay. All right. All right. All right. That's fine. I'm not going to lose, guys. It's going to be totally fine. I mean, uh, I I'm totally ready. So, let's take a look. Let's see what Hazel's transmog is. Oh, that's the – oh, is that the uh, – which one is that? That's the one from the – which mount is that? Is that a rare mount? This is the Shimmer Mist Runner. It's extremely easy to get. This okay. is for doing the maze in Arden Wheel. Oh, oh wait, yeah. I recognize your voice. Are you a YouTuber? <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, my God. You're that one girl. I was watching BFA videos, and she taught me how to, like, do so much stuff. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thanks for watching. That's amazing. Your voice is... Dude, I knew I recognized that. Yeah, Hazel, Hazel, guys, seriously, I, I've said it before. I'll say it again. I watch a lot of WoW content, and Hazel is the only WoW content creator who actually tells you what you need to know in less than four and a half hours. Yeah, no. Hazel's videos will teach you everything about everything that's going on. Uh, one of my favorite videos that Hazel does each week is basically a recap of everything that's happened during that week. So be sure to check out Hazel's YouTube channel. Uh, every other WoW content creator is simply stalling, running laps around the city. So definitely <laughs> do check out Hazel. True, dude, true. She actually has content, dude. It's true. That's crazy. Yeah, she knows what's going on in Damn. the game. And that's why I think she's going to destroy Asmin. Yeah, I honestly got to put my money on her now, Rich. Yeah. I'll be honest with you, yep. yeah. Asmin, I, I think you're up against a tough match here, buddy. Okay, all right, guys. Listen, listen. This you might think that, but I've actually I've done pet battles for quite a while. You said I mean, you're five years rusty, man. The last I five have. years you've been just. What I have. You been doing, I've been man? hanging out, but like, look Did at a all. Did bug look just all randomly land on your face? By the way. Yeah. Why did it call him out like that, man? Yeah, it did. <laughs> Why, where did that come from, dude? Uh, you know. Random bug just like, <laughs> man, he's training pets even oh, out of the man. game. Yeah, look at this. I've only got two pet battle achievements left, boys. Like, I, I am ready to go. Why gotta be like, a Like, this is going to happen. All right. <laughs> Hazel, let me know. Yeah. Rich, you know? call it out. Let us know. I am ready if you want to commence the match. Ladies and gentlemen, the time is finally upon us. For the past 15 years, all of World of Warcraft was simply a framework to lead up to this matchup. Hazel versus Asmongold. The first international pet battle tournament starts right now. All right, let's do it. Let's see. I've, I don't think I've done a pet battle duel in like three years. So we'll go ahead and cannot pet battle here. Okay. Uh, Hazel, are you an engineer? Uh, you guys should, no. should go to the sewers. Okay, let's see. Sewers. Where do we want to go instead? The um, Dalaran sewers. Yeah, you want to try Dalaran? Yes. Can you pet battle in a city? I don't. Yep, I don't you know can. if you can do it in cities. Maybe we it should below, pick like below, Ellen. Below the city. Oh yeah. The All right. Yeah. Let's go over to Ellen Forest. That's actually a good idea. Let's do that, and we'll head on over to Stormwind, then fly over to Ellen Forest. You know, it'd be cool. Sounds good to me. You what? know, it'd be kind of cool. What? If we did it on Moonguard. That is too much work. Okay. <laughs> how about in a? Gold, Sometimes a little bit of work in. is worth it. True. You ever, you ever play on Moonguard, Mitch? Oh, I'm yeah, trying to start a weekly I know thing. what you're trying to do here. I Yes, I've been to Moongard, and I've seen some things that I wish I didn't see there. I'm trying to start a weekly... You should stop. A weekly thing. On we, Moongard. Where we all you get You want to RP on Moongard? Yeah, it'd be like a Dungeons wanna, and Dragons do? campaign. Except Dude, the stuff that I've seen on that server, man, oh man. If you go to Goldshire on that server, it is, uh, let's just say it's not safe for work, Richard. I, you know, I've, I've been there a few times with one of our good friends, uh, Chucky D, and also, uh, you know, uh, my, my one friend, Trainwrecks, was there on a worgen. Oh, wow, a worgen. Uh, they can, oh, they're dude, werewolves. They're werewolves. Yeah, they're furry. 
Yes. I like, here's the thing with uh here's the thing with Moonguard is it you don't really get the true experience unless you download the my RP add-on. What? So and the heck is if that? You, yeah, if you read their descriptions of what they have to say about themselves, then you're going to lose faith so, yeah. in humanity. So Asmin actually knows this. I've been working yeah. on I actually have been working on this for a long time. I want to do like a weekly stream where I make a quest for, like, another streamer, for, like, in-game, using people from chat to be, like, quest givers and stuff and like that. And you think that. those people are going to be reliable to, to be in their position at the I correct time? I audition them after Allcraft. They do oh, auditions. Yes. And uh, people yeah. come in and they role-play for me, and then I go, y you've got the role. I, I'm, a, okay. I'm like a casting director, and you're actually sitting on my casting couch right now. I am. And we're about to cast all of the action. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to see a clean fight out of Hazeline and Asmin Gold. <sighs> Let's get right into it, boys. Is it time? It's time. All right, let's yeah. do it. It's time, guys. You Round might know one. this very arena. Sometimes I've spent a lot of time out here, Rich. Hand to this. Oh wait, can oh man. Oh, we see that Asmin has chosen a cat. Whoa! They gave you an in-game model. Oh my hey. god, dude, that's true. Hey, Asmin Gold's gonna be sending out <laughs> fiendish imp. imp up against Gloopy. Uh, I know a lot of people in chat from time to time. You know, you've been playing the game for a long time. You'll feel a little bit Gloopy yourself. All of a sudden, Hector is going to come out of left field. Uh, was it the fiendish imp that actually managed to switch Hector? Yes, it seems like this is an ability that imps have. I totally know that. I've casted plenty of these matches in my day. Hector is going to manage to put up a shield on himself. And look, Mitch, uh, I'm not sure if you have any experience with crabs, but. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I, I don't think I do. Yes, uh, actually, I will say uh, <laughs> we, we must Christ. protect the crabs. Oh my God, Endangered man. species due to deforestation. Jesus, Graves now going to be coming out, going to get that extra damage into Gloopy. Gloopy hanging on by just a hair, like our, <laughs> like both these people uh, <laughs> joined me in the arena. To be honest, honestly, Rich, you were born for this. You're making this pet battle seem very interesting. Thank you. Yeah, no problem, man. I, I think it is interesting, though. Like, you know, this is obviously a lot's on the line here, man. So, you know. 100 gifted subs. 100 gifted, 100%. Yeah. That's what's up. That is what's up. Kittens, which is uh, a spider. Very, good job there, Hazel. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good name for a spider. <laughs> what is it? Kittens. Kittens. Okay. This is kittens the he's, dude, he's, he's, Asmund's name is Graves. Do you play League, Asmund? This is a pet. Uh, they just they put it in the game. Oh, okay. Yeah, it, it's oh, not like the put storm it in the game yeah. to die like okay, that? Okay, well, Asmin has it lost... It did die. It's undead. Oh, yeah? What's happening here? Because he went to zero health and he's still alive. Yeah, you know how we keep opening those cards on Mizkif stream? Yeah. It's that, but in WoW. What? Yeah. It's oh, it, it's dead now. It's, it's Pokemanes. It's dead now. Yeah, you're right. It is Pokemanes. But uh, right now, uh, Hazel seems to be really giving Asmongold trouble. Um, yeah, I think he's, she's up one minion, no? So here is the current state. Uh, the, they both have lost one minion. Okay. Now it's going to be the Imp standoff. Both of their benched Pokemanes have half health right now. Uh, one more LSF clip could take them out. Now we're going to see the Fiendish Imps going head-to-head -head in this battle. Hector is already in his protective bubble. Will Asmund be able to use his Fiendish Imp? Oh, he's going to switch out to Kittens, getting in an <laughs> extra punch. Kittens can only take one more. Kittens is going to be able to petrify that Fiendish Imp. It is stuck inside of the rock. I have never seen such a tough place to be in. The Fiendish Imp is going to potentially have one more ability left, and it's going to be enough to take out Kittens. Now it's Imp versus Imp with just one crab left on the bench. Interesting. Interesting indeed. A battle is a foot. Best out of five. Asmongold versus Hazelnutty. Imp versus Imp. Mono e mono. As we see the fiendish Imp go into Hector one more time. 57 health left, and that's going to be enough to send the Imp back to the bench. This Emperor Crab, will he wear the crown? Will he be the one true king? Asmongold's going to take match number one, or game number one against Hazel. And we have so many people standing around asking to be invited to Hazel's lair. Hazel. Oh my. You're going to have to switch up something here. You said you had four teams in store for us. Was your first team your strongest, or do they get progressively stronger as you face off? What the heck is that, dude? Asmin? What? Zoom in. Oh, yeah, chill, chill, chill with that. You really do want to be on Moongar, don't you?
So yeah, a uh, really good time, Hazel, the good, GG, great team by the way, we basically used the exact same comp and strategy, I think I got a little bit lucky there, I know a lot of you guys might not really be paying attention to what's happening exactly on, uh, on screen here, but what Hazel did there is she was using one of the speed, speed, fiendish imps that dropped from Karazhan, and because they both have a speed bonus of 333, there's a roll that occurs in which that determines which imp attacks first. I I got lucky there because my imps attacked first, which is a completely random possibility. So you took round number one. How are you feeling going into round number doing two? Doing pretty good, actually. Doing very well. Uh, great game. And uh, honestly, I'm just trying to figure out what my next team's even going to be. Uh, we've got a lot of options. So, Lost question pops. for you, Asmin. Go ahead. Go ahead. Um, hit me. So, it's like, this is like Pokemon, where you want to basically guess what she's going to use and counter it, yeah. correct? Uh, truth is, I actually don't worry a whole lot about what somebody else is going to use because you got to just go in there with a balanced team. Okay. Uh, like, obviously, whenever you're playing on the, you know, on the, the group finder, the, the uh, battle finder, you're going to be able to have... Hold up, they have looking for battle finder? Well, yes, yeah, yeah. There's a ranked like there's ladder. Well, it's right there on there's the There's a ranked ladder? Yeah. Well, it's not, there's not ranked, what? right? But if there was, I mean, you, Look, you know. Look, he's 1205 rating. And, uh, You're trolling, right? No, look, it says 12.05 right there. Dude, no, that's I'm the not. time, Rich. That's the amount of achievements that I have for pet battles. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to jump <laughs> into game number two. Dude, I love this guy, dude. Full of yeah. crap always, man. Just, I love it. All right, gentlemen, are we this, ready to go? I this is I cast an arena for so uh, many uh, years. Uh, I just closed my eyes and screamed. Uh, hey, oh, wait, you did cast arena. It's like, well, Sidu uses... Blah, blah, blah. Dude, you're, dude, you're killing it. You don't even know what you're looking at, but you make it seem like you do. Yep. Hey, Hazel, are you still here? Hi. I'm yes, here. Hazel is here, which means the time is nigh. Start the battle. All righty, boys. <laughs> let's go to work. Now, I want to oh say I have one good team, and the rest of my teams are not good. So this could actually be a uh, this could be a quitty, uh, pretty what? quick turnaround, man. Okay. Okay, <laughs> okay uh, here we go. We're going to get the mechanic. Oh, I can't. I shouldn't reveal okay. your strategy as of right now. It's oh, okay. my God. It's the Battle of the Mechanicals. Yeah, man, it's a bot war going on right now. Any bots in the chat? Fledgling Warden Owl against the Pandaren Dragonling. Asmund's going to hit himself in game because it is the Warden Owl, which is going to be able to strike the first blow. But as we learned a little bit earlier, owls do not make good pets, ladies and gentlemen. If you do see an owl in need, be sure to call your local game warden or to be able to call your animal control center and they also have seven vertebrae in their neck that was the other thing that we learned about the owls the other cool thing is that you can actually take owl vomit you can break it up and you can find bones if you're ever looking for bones or anything like that one of the things that we can see here on our screen right now is some more bones and that's because hazel is going to be using a very bony pet are you good I am great, but Asmongold is not. His Pandaren Dragonling has taken quite a bit of damage, Mitch. Oh, man. Yeah, it's taking a lot of damage right there, man. We see that she has a... Uh, what, what is that? Look at that. It's a, it's, a, it's a bony boy. It's the ass hair. Oh, a ass, ass. I can't read that. I'm sorry. I'm so, I'm so it's, sorry. It's the, it's the... I can't read that, man. What does that say? It's just a nickname, man. It's a bone serpent. Oh, I'm Fine. so sorry. I am so sorry. I could not read that one. That is not good. That is my bad. All right. Oh, oh man. I'll just leave it to you, Richard. <laughs> Jesus, man. Hazel's going to throw back out that fledgling warden owl, and it is taking down the crawdad faster than the 4th of July takes down crawdads. That's right, an all-American delicacy, sucking down crawdads with the family, but this crawdad has returned to whence it came, back to the soil, the circle of life being complete, and now we'll see a grassy patch in its honor in the Elwyn Forest, switching back out to a mechanical. It's going to be Asmund using his Pandaren Dragonling up against the Warden Owl. An insta-death going to come on through. The weather advantage also going to be there in favor of Hazel. Darkness has been spread. The mechanical Pandaren Dragonling is going to be able to get back up. This is a mechanical ability that we're going to see all of the mechanical pets be able to use. They get back up for a short period of time after they get knocked down. They're just like the Chumbawamba. That's right. They get knocked down, but they get back 
up again, but it is still going to be the Warden Owl that's going to be crushing on through to the Dragon Link. We're going to see that Warden Owl potentially spring back up into action. I was incorrect. It is going to go down. It's going to be the Cat that is going to pounce into action here against the Pandaren Dragon Link, and it, that is going to be done and dusted. Asmin on his last pet. He has one game in the back pocket. Will he be able to make it two and find himself on match point? Or is Hazel going to even out this match? Balance the scale. One more Youngling Flayer is going to be the one that decides it. Crinkle is getting absolutely decimated. But let me tell you one thing about this cat. It's not kitten around. Rolls on in and takes out the Youngling. That's going to be game for Hazel. One, one. and one. So is this a best two out of three, Rich? This is a best of five. Of five. Okay. We 100 got... gifted subs on Oh, man. Mitch. Big, big, big money. Big money. Oh, yo, Asmin. Why'd you name your pet that? What? What pet? Go back. What pet? What do you mean? Y you just had you a mean pet. mean turkey? What's wrong with turkey? Uh, turkey is my favorite. That's my, one of my favorite foods, man. You what know do you mean? that wasn't the one I was talking about. Yeah, that's my favorite one. I, I like turkey a lot. It's a great, great, great food. I saw that pet as... That's pet. some... Like, I, I'm so upset right now, man. I'm so upset. That was like the that that's the one team I couldn't beat with my guys. I, I don't know what to do now. I had one good team. This is just like Pokemon, man. I had everything ready for one of the Elite Four. I only had one good team. And I I don't have Oh no. Hazel, how are you feeling right now now that you've seen Asmund's second team? Uh it seems to be a real toss up because I'm pulling out new teams as well. So just because one match went one way doesn't mean the other one couldn't be a complete flip because this is a very rock, paper, scissors game. Rock, paper, scissors, and shoot. The guns of another match have been drawn. The die has been cast. Who will come out on top in game number three as our first ever international pet battle tournament? Begins its third game. Okay, give me give me a minute, Rich. I gotta think about this. Can you stall for like like two minutes? I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> Mitch, what's up? This is why you're here. <laughs> what's up, baby? Do what you do. Oh, you want me to do something? Start stalling. Uh, yo. So, how's everyone doing? How's your day? How's your day going, Rich? Man, it's going pretty well. You remember that one time you clogged the toilet? I do, and I remember you left me a note when you clogged my toilet right after that. No, you lied to everybody in the chat and said I clogged the toilet, when in all actuality, I was trying to save you from clogging the toilet. <sighs> Listen, Richard. You besmirched my name! Listen, Richard. You used my toilet paper. All of it. That is true. I had no other option. I left you the paper You towels. led me into battle... With a Nerf gun. I, I, let, I left the paper towels in a very visible place. What the hell is that? That music is so loud. I think, I think he wants you to <laughs> rap. Is a rap? <laughs> oh, we're rapping now? Uh, okay. Yo, he pooped in my toilet. There was no TP. And then I came out into my city. Dalaran, Dalaran, gang. Dalaran, gang. Dalaran, gang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I panda kids daily. I don't do dailies. Nope. I hate that shit. Nope. Yep. I'm a real gangster. I'm a balding. Just like rich, except I don't wear a hat to hide it like a bitch. Okay. Me? Yeah. Yo. Uh, 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 uh. You said that I took a shit in your toilet. You did. That is very true, but I'm telling you I didn't clog it. It's like as mine every time he mogs it. I didn't use your toilet paper. I globaled it. I can't rap. But I wear this hat because my hair looks worse than Asmin when I am wet. I make them wet. I'm so cool. I make all the ladies fucking drool. I am Rich Campbell and I am so pretty. Pretty. Every time that you see me, 
you go, wow, Rich, you are very handsome. I say thank you, Mitch. You are also very handsome. Thank you. That is why you have so many viewers, because you are handsome. And you're also good at wow, panda this, panda that. I don't give a fucking crap. Once okay. I get a fucking beat, okay. it's like I am back on these motherfucking streets. When I turn streets. around in Dalaran, I do a fucking lap. lap. And then I get a hundred gifted subs. This and that, this and that. I do everything gifted. up in this stream. Dream. I am making all of my dreams into memes. Memes. My entire life is one giant big joke. Joke. But the one thing that I don't do is smoke. Smoke. Because I like to take care of myself. I like my health. Health. All I like to do is accumulate my wealth. Wealth. I buy so many of these Pokemon cards. That's an investment. No, it's not. No, it's not. Fuck. I think that Miskiff led me down a very dark path. Yes, he did. I have no money. Oh my god, my life is crap. Why did I listen to that fat idiot? I should uh, just drop my mixtape. Like, Pope, yeah. I am Bill Dipper Lee. Oh. I am Bill Dipper Lee. I come from a very cool city. Why? It is called New York. But now I am in Texas. Pretty soon I will have to get a car, maybe a Lexus. I don't know how to drive. Mitch, can you teach me? I want to drive a car. I am so pretty. Please, can we get into the pet battle? Because I am starting to oh, get a man. little Oh, man, there's the ghost. Oh, God. Yo, what's up, ladies? There it is, Jim. Dude, I feel like uh, uh, this is so crazy. I feel like, uh, you know, I used to watch shows like this where the commentators would have no idea what the hell's going on, and now I'm that guy. You're that guy. I'm literally that guy. <laughs> You're that guy. <laughs> I've become what I hated the most, dude. You've become me. Not only that, I'm sitting next to you. They used to call me Mitch Campbell. Uh, uh, <laughs> and, and, and now you're oh, Rich Jones. Man. Oh, not like this, dude. That's, yeah. that's not, dude. The, the, the thing is, nowadays they call me the scuffed XQC, man. So, like, you know, it all comes for full circle. Oh, eventually. have you been getting completely carried by your text to speech? Uh, you said it. <laughs> I don't get involved in drama, guys. Hey, but unlike <laughs> XQC, we got some content for you right now. Some gameplay. Gameplay. Let's Hazel go. Hazel and Asmin going into game number three. All right. Okay, let's let's go. They take their marks. We see the lineup. The son of Seath, a blood snake, and a dire thorn that looks like it's from Land Before Time and a... Valkyr Fetus. That's a very weird name for a pet. It's going to be Gloopy yet again coming out from Hazel. We can also see she's got Dumbo and a Whelp on the sidelines as well. Let's see what this undead Valkyr is going to be able to do up against this milky pet. <laughs> nice. Nice indeed. Nice indeed. Well, yeah, as you can see, the health pool that uh, Asmongold has is about 800. Oh my god, he just got one shot, guys. Um... That was a big shatter, big boy. I don't know what the hell just happened there, but Gloopy just pulled out a one shot, and Asmin is down one minion. Man, just like that, you can see the gulpers moving around in a circle around this matchup, but we could also hear Asmin take a giant gulp in the studio. A gulp of panic, a gulp of regret. I mean, he's nodding right now. I think he's in his zone, dude. If you ask me, he's built differently. <laughs> he's cat jamming right now. Wait, he's happy. Something good just happened. I think he knows what he's doing. I think he's got this under control, guys. The, is the stunted Direhorn going to be the thing that will allow Asmund to regain his footing? With over half of its health left, it takes down Gloopy, and the unborn Valkyr rises from the ashes. Hold on a second. Did it really rise from the ashes? I just saw something really weird in the chat. Can I, Rich, there's a ghost. Something's happening. It said in the chat, I just saw it, it said, Mitch Jones, ban someone, and I am here. So how did I ban someone? Ban someone? Yeah, I literally saw in the chat, it said, Mitch Jones banned someone, and I'm literally right here, and I, is someone on my computer at home? I don't know what's going on. Where are on. you logged in from? I, only at Mrs. Place, but there's nobody there. Except the only person that's there is Mrs. Sister Emily. Is that, hey, Emily, if you're watching right now, I just wanted to let you know... Uh, you know, this is my stream, twitch.tv slash Asmongold. I know that you don't watch Twitch very much, but you can check out my stats, Emily. I'm actually a pretty big streamer. Some would even say maybe the biggest streamer on Twitch. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. 
Oh man, dude, you're fishing for uh, yeah, you're fishing, dude. I saw you take your shot. That didn't go well at all. Yeah, but well, you know what did? The shot that Asman just took. Oh Hazel's man, that is a he big shot right there. Listen, two of her pets. You gotta take the shots that you can't hit sometimes. Am I right? <laughs> you are right indeed. But now it's all tied up. Sometimes you just they just ice block when you take your shot and they're just not there, and that's okay. You just blink and do it again. <laughs> Down goes Vet, son of sea. Down goes. Wow. You got to catch chance. it fast there, Rich. One more chance. It's tough to see. It's an undead. It pops back oh, up. Oh, man. Can he pops back trunks? up. There it is. Look at that guy he go. He missed. That is a very un- – the elephant has trunks as Mitch – oh, fuck. Shit. Stop cussing. He's missed <laughs> his ability, and that is unbelievable. There are a lot of frogs around <laughs> rattling in a circle, and that is not good for us, okay? Asmin, 800 Asmin. damage? Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, man. Are you fucking kidding me? 800, 800 damage? damage, guys. Uh, from a, 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 what, a, an elephant? How is that even real? 800 elephant? That's crazy. It Eight, makes sense. 800 elephants. So... Who won that battle? Hazel did. Hazel, Hazel, Hazel is taking the, it again. Hazel Two to one for Hazel. Point. I had my money on Hazel this whole time, and I can't lie. She is a wow encyclopedia. She is. She is. Oh she is God. one of the best. Asmin, you might know. You might know all of the loot of all the dungeons and where all the mounts are. But, but she actually has the loot and the mounts. Eight hundred and five damage, bro. Like what? The real question is, who has a bigger slash plate of the two? I am so mad. Like if I had just done drain blood, I would have survived. And I thought to myself, there's no way that she's gonna do more than six hundred and sixty damage in one hit. And guess what? She did. She, Fuck. She did. To quote Asmongold, I love this game. I play every day. I love this game. I play every day. But sometimes that is not enough to be a champion. Sometimes you're born bad. He's got one more chance to come back in this one. Will Hazel snuff out that dream? Will the fire of hope be extinguished? Will Hazel be the first ever international pet battle champion? A crown that no one else has ever worn in all of Azeroth. Will Hazel reign Sue? Prime. One more game can decide it. Three pets against three pets. Asmund Gold versus Hazel. Line it up, uh, Boreal Gulpers. It's time to get this one started. Those are some big frogs. All right. <laughs> I'm not too confident about this team, I'm going to be honest. Nobody in chat is very confident either, Asmund. All right, let's get this out yep. of the way. Big frog. <laughs> <laughs> yep, frog. Yeah, yep, yep, uh, yep. <laughs> Listen, that mount's pretty cool, man. I'm not going to lie. I do like that one. Uh, the, the other day, somebody asked Maya, I think it was yesterday, somebody said, Maya, what's your favorite mount? She goes, Mitch rides a frog. She actually said she that. Actually, she did say that. Well, I guess then that's her favorite mount is the frog. Yeah, you Because you, she doesn't have anything else to base it off of because she doesn't understand what the hell's going on. You made those frogs. Yeah, I did. True. <laughs> Thank you for helping me see that. Hey, look, I will. De- Why'd you name the tree after your girlfriend? Because it was named after my ex girlfriend. I had to rename it. That's actually 200 IQ if you think about it. All right, Asmin naming his wood after. All after right, his- Rich. <laughs> All right, man. Listen, dude. Uh, yo, Mountain Dew, we're sorry about that one. Mr. Anderson. <laughs> We meet again. Izzy facing off against the Anubiseth Idol. The Anubiseth Idol is going to be buffed as it pummels on into the wood. It is beating the wood as hard Yo, as possible please, Richard. on this fine Rich. sunny day. Dude, I'm not even on this org and you're freaking me out. I'm monkeying, dude. Like, come on, bro. Keep it together, man. Jeez. My God, man. Hands up in chat, because now we need to see who will be able to take it. The Hyjal Wisp has already begun. And they to say accumulate. I'm a brand risk? Can I have your partnership, please? You're not at brand risk. Thank you. I don't think you're a brand risk. I'm an affiliate. Nice to meet you. Nice What's to that? meet you. Hey, I actually know maybe one day, maybe if you join the right team, maybe you'll become a partner. True. True. I didn't even think about that. True. Look, the frogs, man. They're really there. Oh, it's nighttime. What the hell happened? How the heck did it get dark outside? I don't man? know. I have no idea. 
Because it says sunny day. Yeah. I oh, see. but now it is sunny. What a crazy pet battle. It's like Yu-Gi-Oh, but it makes sense. Grandpa! Is that Nasus in the middle there? <laughs> I'm stuck in the shadow, Is that Nasus? Bro. That's Nas. That's the cane, dude. That's the cane right there. Is it who? The cane! The cane? The cane. Where? Put it down. Where? Right there in the middle, dude. There's two of them. That's plus six right there, man. Oh, no. 69. Asmin, Asmin, do, <laughs> Asmin, do not get stacked, my man, okay? That was a nice heal. That was a very nice heal. As you can see right now, both Hazel and Asmin have gone for very similar compositions, which I find. I mean, it's Nasus against Nasus here. Uh, who has stacked their Q harder? We don't know. It looks like... So far, Asmongold has a health lead, so Hazelnut was having trouble top lane there, probably crying at her jungler. Oh man, he comes in for another, and the Q is not successful. They're also healing with that built-in lifesteal of his kit. Go ahead, Rich. It just, they just keep healing for 69. Over yeah, but do you know over. why that is? Because his passive is 20% lifesteal. Oh. Yes, yes, 20%. dude. Yes, yes. Tw 20, so if you have four 20s, it equals 69. Now you're understanding, yes. I get it, Mitch. I finally get it. But who is going to get it in this battle of the best? The two best pet battlers in the world. Hiru, the crab, is coming out from the bench. Will he be able to take down this Anubitaf idol? Will he be able to take down the healer from the team with his pinchy, pinchy claws? It looks like the answer is going to be no, as this arthropod is sent back to the graveyard. Huh? Arthropod. Yes, um, they're being brought to the graveyard. It looks like Asmongold's Nasus is still alive, and Hazel has brought out the Hydro Wisp, and I I like the frogs in the background a lot. I really do. We are watching you chat, Uwu. Are you more of an Uwu or an Owo? I don't know what either of those things mean. I'll show you after stream because we need to crown our champion. It's going to be Bright Paws out. Isn't that a store pet, Asmin? My mom bought it for me. It's okay. 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 His mom got it for him, dude. It's totally fine. It was a gift. You can't give back a gift. What the heck, dude? You hypocrite. He's always talking about how bad the store pets are and how bad. Yeah, wait. The I have a bone to pick with you, Asmin. We'll wait till after the battle, though. We'll wait until after the battle, indeed. If Hazel. This can man close complains this one about out. store bought pets, but yet he begs for gold to buy to buy mounts with. Can you believe that? Oh my God! How hypocritical, right? Those people who have the gold. How hypocritical! The black market auction house is the same thing as buying a store mount, in my opinion. Oh my god, dude. I know. I know. I never thought about it like that. I know. I know. Let's go, Hazel! Fuck him up! <laughs> Hazel only has one wisp left, just like Asmongold. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Good one, man. Yeah, good one, Rich. Good one, Rich. Yo, can somebody get me someone else to co host this with? I don't know what's going on with this guy, man. You alright, buddy? <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. You want a beer or something? You, you, you good? Did you just see all the frogs start going bald? <laughs> yeah, they're molding. I think the entire chat is at this point, Rich. You know, we've kind of heard enough, you know what I'm saying? Of what? Oh, nothing. I, I'm... Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, dude! Okay, okay, okay. Oh, shit, I forgot OTK does this weird-ass stuff where they, uh, you know... Wrestle? <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, let's just say it's a little bit physical, you know? Hey, hey. Hey. A noob tenth idol is getting low. This wisp is carrying hard, going to get a giant heal off here. The noob tenth idol is going to go down. It's Izzy versus the wisp. Okay. If Hazel wins, can this, Izzy take it? It's done. If the wisp takes this, it is absolutely one hundred percent done. Honestly, Hazel if wins. If you want my honest opinion, I really think that the tree is going to be victorious over the wisp here. You think the tree is going to be able? I to do. Take it? I really think that tree has been blessed with wisdom, and it will take out the wisp. Also, thank God, ner uh, rogues got nerfed. True. Yes. Let's see if the wisp can panda this. Keep crying, rogues. I see you on Twitter. 
Which, which, never mind, I'm not going to hide because I know the answer to it. Okay. I was going to, I was going to ask which PVP are you thought cried the most, but, uh, uh, there, yeah, yeah, there's, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, we can't even, yeah, we can't, even, yeah, we, we, can't even, we can't, dude, this that. wisp is invincible. It is it? actually, I told you, I, oh wait, actually, I think the tree, they're both very much self-healing a lot. You see, they're both rest using defensive ability. Defensive play does work in pet battles. Uh, it seems to be very, very effective here. They're both sort of just healing and not really attacking each other, trying to go into dampening, I guess. What is that long boy doing in the back? I don't know. Uh, probably seeking attention, which you just gave it. <laughs> I, I lost the chat, but the wisp is slowly cutting away at the leaves of this tree. Like a grim autumn, the tree slowly loses the foliage at the top of its base. The Hydra Wisp is now going to be the one with the lower health, as Izzy has been able to heal to full, but no longer having the advantage of a sunny day. The Wisp is elusive for this round, having healed back up to pull, full. There is no dampening in pet battles, and I think that we've experienced that this meta is even more boring than PvP and BFA. I think we might uh, we might have to rematch. I'm not sure really we if I'm going to come out. We could do this all day. Okay, this so yeah. I think we've yeah. reached a stalemate of. Uh, uh, is there a dampening in this setting or no? What the heck, dude? Wait, keep trying for a little bit. Are okay. You guys, are you I think we've reached a stalemate. So this means that Blizzard system is not foolproof with the pet battles yet. Okay. Um. This so to be basically, do you want me to explain the, the stalemate here? Sure, go ahead. So she has an ability called Wish. It has a five-round cooldown, and on the five-round cooldown, it heals for 50% of her maximum health. Unfortunately, because the weather is sunny day, it increases the maximum health of all pets by 50%, which means that the Wish ability will heal more than I can deal damage within the five turns that the Wish is on cooldown. On top of that, I also have Photosynthesis, and that also does double healing inside of sunny weather. So that means that my healing is going to also be able to outheal her, uh, her, whatever the attack is that she's doing. I forgot what it is. Arcane Blast. Oh. And so because I can recast that over and over and over, it's not going to matter. Question, Asmund. Is there yes. any holes in the – because you said there's a delay, like five-turn delay. Could you do enough damage to potentially kill her before she can heal? There's no way. There's, it's impossible. All right. We have reached a stalemate, guys. There's no way. Hazel, do you want to read go? Or do you want to try to try to play it out? Let's concede and just pick different teams. Okay. All right. That sounds like a good idea. Let's concede. We're going to pick another team. All right. So we are going – we are still 2-1, correct? Yes. Uh, yep. Yes. yes. Still 2-1. Hazel. Okay. In the Ring of Frogs, who will take this, this victory? The Ring of Frogs. That is the arena we're in. Very true. Very true. We are in the Ring of Frogs. I'll try another team a little bit. Only one will leave the Ring of Frogs victorious. All right, so he is picking his team here. Hey, who I, do you guys I, think I, I will win the ask, next one? I want to ask a quick favor of everybody who is in the Ring of Frogs right now. Could you remind everybody who's watching the stream that they, for a short time, can go to shop.otk network? I didn't even finish the. Th How did you know what I was doing? Jacob, how did you know I was going to try to make people buy the merch? Jacob, I didn't even finish. I didn't even finish selling out. We already have the logo up, exclamation mark merch in the chat. You guys now can look just as cool as me, Mitch, and Asmin. Shop.otknetwork.com. Also, Hazel, we'll, if you want anything, let us know. We'll, we'll, we'll get it uh, sent to you. Also, eldaworldtitle1.com. Right. Sorry. I, sorry, nothing. That was just. We're in the, we're in the middle of I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's my bad. I gave you. I gave you. That's my bad, man. That's my bad. I I I owed him one. That's my bad, dude. Sorry. This is this. All right. All right. I'm ready. Hazel, let me know whenever you're good to go. Yeah, I'm good. All right. Let's do it. I'm ready. Let's, let's do, it. do it. It's time. All right. We're doing a rematch. We we went into a stalemate last time. It's okay. Can't win them all. Oh, the Anubiseth Idol is going to be back. Bone Servant, now this time, is going to be in Asmongold's lineup. And the Bon Fu, Cub of the Bon Lu. What an incredible name. Oh. The Fledgling Warden now is going to be back as well. Wait, we got Serpent against Serpent. Bony Boy against Bony Boy. And also, we are going to see the Cat, which was able to do so much damage in the last matchup. It is going to be the Fledgling Warden now, which gets first blood. Is the Witch? That's Asmongold. Is the Witch? Yes. Okay. That is Asmongold. He's, I like, think. kicking his pets in, 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 in 
Dude, he's not very happy with them. We learned not to do that a little bit earlier in the day during our animal preservation segment. This is a game. This is it not looks reality. like Nasus has fallen down. His early game is not very good, and he has been defeated by the fledgling Warden Al. That much is true. Now it's Bony Boy against Sprocket Boy. It's going to be Crinkle who comes out now. Will Crinkle be able to ball up Asmund's entire plan and play with it like a ball of yarn? The Bone Serpent isn't undead. Keep that in mind as we do move forward. Okay. Some jeez, yo, chat, in game. Well, I'm not gonna pay attention. Yeah, to just, just, just relax. Yo, guys, yo, everybody, everybody, say yep. <laughs> everybody say yep. Yeah, yeah. I like when they do that. They all go yep, yep. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's nice. I think that's what I like. <laughs> <laughs> That is a good emote. I can't lie. That's actually my Discord uh, icon. Is yet. it? Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, that's a good emote. I like that true. emote. True. You know what else is true? What's that? We're all tied up in this game, but Hazel is going to be leading in the series. Bon Fu from the Bon Lu is oh, about to get Oh, and he hits for 504 down. and a, a, one, a 148 as well. And it, whole, he oh. healed himself, right? I don't understand the healing in this, but it seems oh. to be very absurd. Oh, wait, he changes to the Bone Serpent, actually. Oh, his bone serpent so it's Bone Serpent versus Hill. Bone Serpent, but one of their names has changed to something that I cannot read. Ash Halir. <laughs> All right, good try, Rich. Ash Hair. Um, uh, Hazel, what is the name of your pet? It doesn't matter. I don't remember. I think it's Ash Halir, but... Ash Halir, there it is. Ash there it is, dude. Yeah, there it is. Ash Halir. Ash Halir. That's it, yeah. Ashalier is taking quite a lot of damage. Oh, to be able to man, 37 HP left. Would you look at that? But look at where Asmund stands with his Bone Serpent. Only 192 health remaining, and Hazel still has the help of a mechanical owl. Oh, man, owl on that the witch is unhappy, smacking away at something in the air. Ashalier going to rise from that pile of bones. Will he be able to bone Asmund? Serpent. It's a bone. It's a bone. It's a bone. Bone pet. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Fledgling ward now. Uh, now the last hope. Now, now the last hope. Rainbow. Sorry. Uh, the fledgling warden now is going to try to take out the bone serpent, Mitch. Yes, and it does. The owl is going down Ugh. here. The bone serpent Holy left with shit. oh, there. It's a double a, kill. Is that a stale? What happened? Is that a, I don't even know if that counts as a win or or an L. Like I don't even remember. Okay, wait. I think that's a draw. That is a, draw. a draw. I think it is a draw. <laughs> so wait, two wait, draws. Whose pet went to zero HP first, though? Um, my pet went to zero HP. Second. And then, and then, uh, well, no. So my pet died, but undead have the power to revive, right? To revive for one turn, and then if you kill the pet on that turn, I actually don't know if Chat can help me out on this. I I think that it's a draw too, Hazel. I'm pretty sure that it is. Unfortunately yeah. for me. Mm -hmm. I think if you do it in like a pet PvP match, they won't give the win to either, either of them. Yeah. Okay. If, if that's the case, we're gonna go. We're gonna have to go that's again. Pet PvP match. Holy shit, man. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on on the screen here in Elwyn Forest. We have uh, a lot of frogs, some people uh, moon guarding around as well. This is actually... We've just been... To oh, never mind. <laughs> um, um, okay. Could you use the creepy crate, Asmund? The you creepy crate? Do you have that pet? That was one of my faves back uh, in the day. It's pretty good, but it's not... I, I Like, the bone storm stuff, I don't, I don't really know if it's going to be able to do enough, honestly. So you will not use the creepy crate for me? I don't... Uh, like. I really like that pet. You really Asmund. want me to use? I use really the like that one. I like okay. the creepy yeah. crate, man. That's one All of my right, favorite we'll, pets. We'll, we'll bring it out. Why not? Thank you. Bring him out, baby. Bring him out. Okay, let's go. I'm All ready. right. So Hazel now knows how to counter the creepy crate. This is bullshit. Yeah, Mitch, you're, you're working with the enemy. I'm right. sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. I just I like that. I like that one, man. Use the creepy crate for weird. <laughs> okay. All right. Here we go. All right. Here we go. Hazel going to be bringing out Gloopy again. Let's see what else Hazel has in store for Asmin. The Creepy Crate going to kick off this match. Mitch loves that box. I do. That is actually a nice box right there. 
what's so funny, Rich? The creepy kid. The I'm not the one that spends 20k on boxes. All right, that's you. True, that is true. So what are you, what are you, what are you, Pepe, laughing at there, buddy? Ah, <laughs> oh, nothing, my friend. Creepy crate. All right, go, going to be trying to hold on here, but it looks like it is being eroded by that goo. Gloopy pounding on into that box over and over again. It looks like Gloopy might be able to win, but it does seem like this box might be able to take a beating a little bit more than we initially did think. Asma wasn't very confident that the box would be able to hold on, but just like that, Trunks is going to come out, and we are going to see Trunks going so in So do you think the box was a bad pick here from Asmongold? I do not. I actually think that the box might have been a little bit better than we thought. It finally oh, the, does the, No, it, it revives because it's a is an undead box, so he will get one last attack in before he falls. And Gloopy is already weak as well. Trunks going to Oh, here out. it is. 136 spin move. A double hit. Oh, man. Wait, it hit everything on the That bench. is an AoE ability from Creepy Crate there. And Creepy Crate does see his demise. Unfortunately, he has fallen. But in the process, getting Gloopy uh, severely low and Trunks already having quite a bit of damage. Now, this Dark Moon Zeppelin doesn't look like it's in a great place either. It is a mechanical. Trunks is going to be able to take it down and proc that mechanical ability. Yup, proc. I always had faith in Trunks. You did. You said that just the other day to me. I did. I'm, I'm surprised you remember that, man. I do. I remember that. You pulled me aside and you said, I, I, I've always had faith in Trunks. And I said, I don't know, man. I've been a Trunks doubter my entire life. Uh, I don't know about that one, man. Well, today, Trunks has put on his big boy Trunks and has gotten down to work. Grapes, though, going to get squished. And now we are getting very close to tasting the sweet wine of victory. Uh, we have a four-month resub from Beef Jammer. He says, hey, please buy Overwatch. Sorry, I just saw that on the stream once. Wow, dude. I, I don't know. I, I don't even know anything. I don't even read anything that isn't a, uh, a Twitch Prime. We have a Prime. Twitch Prime sub from Crad Bro Chill. Thank you very much. Wow, dude. It's almost like every single person who's watching the stream right now has an absolutely free sub. Oh, do to... they, Richard? Yeah. All they got to do is click on oh, the Oh, man. I had no yeah. idea they had a free sub just waiting. Smash that sub. Uh, I'm, going, I'm going full ninja, man. Is, yeah. Do you... I, I can't do that very well. Can do you? you? Do what? Can you do the do the, the nin ninja thing? The ninja, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Do you kiss your mother with that mouth, you little shit? <sighs> you had to go there, Rich, didn't you? You had to go there. Asmin won! Asmin has defeated Hazel when we were just being idiots. He was making history, guys. Now, you know what that means. Oh, man. The next one is going to decide the first ever international 100 Would gifted you look subs putt pet battle at of all that. time. We have 10 gifted subs from Wreck. And thank you very much, Rec31. Appreciate you for the wow. 10 gifted. Fierce Smurf. Fierce Smurf. They used to call me oh, that in man. college. Yeah, I the fierce smurf, huh? Wait, why is that? Which lineup is each person going to bring now? Which lineup will be the last to be seen in this? This is match point, boys. The most it's two to two. Stage. Okay. It's two to two. Okay. Two to there two. it is. We got a it's lot a of. I want to thank you all for dropping your Twitch primes here. We really appreciate it here over here at OTK and uh, at twitch.tv slash Asmongold. Okay. Thank you, everyone, for the support especially for this upcoming final pet battle that we have. The final showdown, two to two. Who will be victorious? Who's your money on, Richard? You know what? Wait, hold on. Hold that thought. We have another 10 gifted from Captain Dreadspine. Yeah, Captain Dreadspine. You are the you. man, son. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Dreadspine is the actual Oh, coach. we have another prime from Fragmaster92. By, by the way, Captain Dreadspine, Mitch, is the person who gifted a whole bunch of subs to make you and me wear maid outfits. We were well, let me tell you something. I have never received subs from such persons, so therefore I'm wearing maid for what reason? I set a sub goal. That said, oh, so I'm gonna wear a maid costume for your sub goal. I'm that good of a friend. Oh, I didn't know that, <laughs> Richard. Nice to meet you, man. That's awesome. Yeah, let's do it, dude. Let's you, fucking do it, it, man. You were there. That's when awesome. I said let's do it. this. I'm down, man. You were I'm there down, when man. I said it, dude. I'm down for this. Please, I let's do it, man. Outfits. Let's do it, man. That's awesome. And we're gonna do a cooking. Oh, we have 20 gifted subs. Can you believe it, man? Murrow with the. Oh, that was actually. It was 10 gifted subs, but that's good enough. It counts! That's Mitch is gonna be a main! Big ones, dude! Oh man, we have a lot of gifters in this chat right now. Oh my god, I cannot believe it. We are getting. 
You are getting rich. No, I'm not. He's he getting is. rich. Richard. <laughs> Somebody's getting rich. Oh, my God. We have four months from uh, Hey Lou. Thank you. The, oh, the question are is. Are you guys though. done stalling? You ready for me to win and take this home? How about that? Uh, let's yes. get right into the action here. All right. Let's do it. Hey, I'm two to two. And the we final. Are we are ready. We are resident this matchup. ready. Rich and Mitch, the casting duo better known as. The itch. The it's itch. It's time to accept. We have the itch because of what he. The, the, this doesn't go back to the crabs, right? And the battle and has let's been get accepted. right into the battle. Yes. Okay. Here we go. And it is going to be the mechanical Scorpid, Graves, and Brightpaw to make up Asmund's oh, lineup. Hold on. We have a five gifted subs from Luxa Aaron TV. Thank you very much. Oh, look wow. at that. Oh, look, look at that. that. Look at that. Look at that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, take a look at what we have on Hazel's side because this is actually the first lineup that Hazel brought. Hector is going to be an incredibly quick pet. Will Hector be able to get the initial damage out? You can see that Graves has been able to oh, CC up Hector. Head, uh, Hector's caught in a blind. Hector, and we have the witch who's really, really slapping that Graves in the butt trying to get him in the battle. What the heck? That I don't know what like the heck he's the doing. meetings that S fam leads. He's emoting, man. He's BMing. Oh, a 644 strong hit. That means that he is super effective into the imp. <laughs> oh, my You goodness. know, I always thought Asmund, he plays a warrior, but I always picture him a warlock. Really? Yeah. He has a warlock. I think he should really put more time into that. Really? I think he would excel very great in the warlock ways, yes. Hey, I mean... Look, let's be honest. He should put more time into playing the game because usually when I watch a stream, he's just watching a video. Yeah, well, Rich, you know, sometimes it is what it is. That, yeah, yeah. And sometimes there it is. And that's exactly what we're going to say as soon as somebody can close this one out. This will decide who gets the 100 gifted subs and who 100 gets 100 gifted rights. subs. Can we believe that number is absolutely large and in charge? Yes. Gloopy, Gloopy is getting hurt. And the big critical strike comes out from Gloopy. Asmin, can you please stop emoting? I am losing my brain. Okay, he's going to continue emoting. And the heal for 280. And he's at 179 HP. I have no idea what's going on. And Gloopy goes down. Can you believe it? Oh, man, Gloopy. It, it looks looking not good. Looking good for Hazel here. Gloopy has fallen. That Look, the Gloopy lo looks like the stuff that you have all over your room. You know, you're right. You're a pet trainer. I am. I, dude. The mechanical Scorpid is not looking healthy. It's going to be sent to the Shadow Realm. Graves with 118 health going to come out against a completely healthy Pandaren Dragonling. Hector on the bench for Hazel. Brightpaw on the bench for Asmin. Which of these pets is going to be able to close out our first ever international pet battle? The international 2020 December 17th pet battle. This is for everything. Jeez. This means the oh. most to all both of these players have trained for years for this and this is the ultimate title to have that nobody gives a single flip no about. everybody cares about I... bright paul is going to come out bright paul is the last hope asmund's entire career is dependent on a oh, store bought my pet. god can you believe it we have what's happening i'm being told that um your bathroom break is now okay uh, can somebody pass me a bottle? Can you have the bottle? Yeah, I got it. I got it. It's right here, dude. <laughs> Hazel! Oh, Hazel is... Wait, what just happened? Hazel won! Hazel is victorious! Hazel! She Hazel! takes the crown! Hazel! 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 Dread! Gladiator! Hazel! Hazel. Has taken the Hello. victory over Asmund. Asmund, hey, wait, you wait, have wait, 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 wait. waiting. We can talk to Hazel right now. One million gold no, no, is being traded. No, 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 Hazel. Oh my good you heavens! Have to go to Hazel. He completed the trick. Can I have half of that? Wait, wait, Hazel. What Why the heck? Why is this the most important thing that's ever happened to you in your World of Warcraft career? Well, Rich, this may be the closest I ever come to esports. <laughs> You Thank just you won. Uh, you just won BlizzCon 2020. Uh, is there anything that you want to say to your fans? Uh, well, my fans are are. I I I hope that if they're watching the stream, that they're uh, they're proud of me and that they didn't have their speakers on for their children. You know. 
Yeah, I agree with you. Rich talked way too much. I'm sorry that, that your any children had to hear that. Um, but yeah, Hazel, congratulations on your victory. You are now the undefeated pet battle champion, and you let that be known to everyone across Azeroth that you are a force to be reckoned with. Hazel? And my condolences for Richard one more time. Hazel, anything that you want yes. to say to Asmin bad? Whoa, again, Richard. Please. Uh, GG. Asmin Thank you Silver. very much. It was a very good game, Hazel. It was Hazel. a fun time. Uh, was I, I, I misplayed at the very end and um, uh, cost me the game. I think I might have lost anyway. You're a very good competitor. Uh, you make great guides, and you deserve the win. Congratulations. Aw, oh, shucks. Thank you very much. Also, Hazel, we're going to gift 100 subs to you. Uh, Asmongold just lost OTK a bunch of money. I do want to ask right now if you I was role-playing as you. Oh, he was. 20K box, by the way. Hazel, for everybody who's watching who maybe hasn't gotten a chance to either watch your stream or to watch your YouTube videos, where can they check you out and what's your schedule like for stream? I am on twitch.tv slash hazelnuttygames and hazelnuttygames on YouTube as well. I stream six days a week, two hour little streams. I'll be on in just like an hour and a half actually. I usually do afternoons on Wednesday, Friday. Thursday, Friday, and then mornings, Tuesdays, and weekends. And we're currently doing mount runs in Legion Karazhan. We are 413 attempts deep and no mount yet, so the moment's coming. <laughs> wow. It's next time for sure, 100%. Mm -hmm. All right, awesome. So, everybody, we are going to make sure that we do put the spotlight on Hazel's stream when she does go live so you guys can all find it. One more time, a huge congratulations to Big Hazel. Big congrats to, to Hazel. She has deserved this win, and she will take this victory to the bank. To the break. Just the like break. Mitch said, it will be come like back. We, we will be more back. Race to world first more action world for you. first action right back at you. We're the itch.